Hey guys, welcome back or to me, my channel. Today is a very gloomy and rainy morning, as you can maybe tell by my room. But I love these days for just sitting down and talking videos. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be talking all about how to find your own personal style. I've been wanting to make a video about this probably since January and I just kept forgetting. But me forgetting was actually a really good thing because as those months went along, I've discovered a lot more things that would probably be beneficial to this video. I want to start off by saying that all of these really did help me in my style journey. I've always been super into fashion since I was little, but I really started to prioritize fashion probably in like when I started university and then really, really, really honed into it in 2022. I made a list of 10 tips on how to find your personal style. I'll probably organize this video into chapters so it'll be easier for you guys to follow. You can take some of them with a grain of salt or just take what you want and leave what you don't want and that's perfectly fine. I won't be offended. The first thing on the list is to identify what are basics and staples in your wardrobe. A lot of people when they say you should find your personal style they say like you need to invest in basics and staples which I agree with but some of them don't mention that what is considered a staple to one person is not considered a staple to another. So if your wardrobe is very colorful, maybe a staple for you is a hot pink tank top and you could pair that with a bunch of different things. So that's why things like capsule wardrobes I find don't necessarily work for everybody because they'll be like, you need a tank top, you need a blazer, a pair of high heels, you need Chelsea boots. In theory, that does make sense, sure, but like that's not what everyone is going to gravitate towards. Like for me personally, I've recently discovered I love a good faux fur hat, obsessed with them. In my wardrobe, I would say that a basic would be a black faux fur hat and then a light color one but if i said to somebody oh like you need basics in your wardrobe get a faux fur hat in like three of the basic colors that does not make sense to everybody because not everybody likes faux fur hats. It's okay for you to identify the things that you gravitate towards and then pick something that you can style with other things in your closet. The next one goes into this one. I kind of mentioned it before. It's figure out what colors, tones, shades you like, how you like to wear them, when you like to wear them, etc. If you're like me and you really like neutrals, mostly black, white, and you like to wear them throughout all seasons, it'll be better for you to identify that versus if you think, well, I really love black and white, but you're supposed to wear pastels in the spring and then bright colors in the summer and then plum in the fall. You like hot pink, mustard yellow, orange, and you want to wear those year round that's okay if you like colors but only in accessories when you buy accessories you'll be thinking i like my accessories in bright colors but i don't like to wear shirts or jeans or something in those colors if you like to do your nails as the bright colors which is typically what i gravitate towards whenever you get a manicure you just get that bright color but you won't invest it into your wardrobe and then never end up wearing the piece it's like sort of an identifier to you as a person in your style that people will be able to see like it's something you consistently do this next one might not make sense to you because it didn't make sense to me when i was first starting to figure out what I really liked and it's to limit your use of Pinterest and I know a lot of people think like you go on Pinterest you'll find what you like you'll be able to copy the outfits all of that stuff and that's true to an extent but if you're always on Pinterest it can also like limit you going into one specific aesthetic because Pinterest is one of those things where it'll show you exactly what you've pinned before and that's not a critique if I pin like a pleated leather skirt trust for the next few months there will be like leather pleated skirts on my Pinterest feed but when you're trying to figure out your style and then it can continuously shows you these pieces this one aesthetic or something your mind will believe okay i can just stick into this bubble instead of finding out ways to take that one piece that you liked and maybe this one aesthetic and fitting it into something else that you might also like i think pinterest is a good way to recreate a couple outfits but i don't think it's a good way to create your style because it can be very limiting to just see exactly what you like in that moment and that's the only thing you see because then you won't have like an appreciation for other things that could like sort of expand your wardrobe and just like resonate to different parts of yourself i feel like all of my tips are rolling in together as i'm talking which i love that's how i know that i'm structuring the way i'm speaking very well lean into aesthetics but don't let them limit you if you know me and you've been watching me for a little while or like follow me on tiktok or instagram i love a good aesthetic the way people make fun of stuff like rockstar girlfriend star girl downtown girl coastal cowgirl people think it's so ridiculous and to an extent yes you just follow one and you think like you could never do others i completely completely agree but i love them for identifying specific things that you might like in different ones or because a lot of them are so similar it just shows you how to use your pieces in different ways i'm here to tell you it's totally fine to love different things that is literally what being a human being is don't ever feel like because you've committed to one aesthetic that you simply can't change it and also don't feel like because you buy something for one aesthetic that you can't incorporate it into the other ones that you suddenly like like you need a whole different wardrobe that's when it's like 
detrimental. Lean into them, but give yourself room to breathe. This next one, I don't want to come across as judgmental whatsoever. I know that people have like different financial situations or just different resources when it comes to shopping and clothing and fashion. A lot of people don't even have time to curate their wardrobes the way that I do. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not judging you if you shop fast fashion. I still do. But I think thrifting and secondhand purchases is like a big key in finding your personal style and sort of making your wardrobe more unique. And I'm not saying this in the sense where your goal should be to not be like other people. I'm basically just saying that to thrift and to secondhand shop just gives you a lot more patience and you really figure out what you like when you're looking through the thrift store for like two hours before you find something. It'll take you a while to probably find something you really like or you'll never find a specific thing you're looking for at the thrift or secondhand but you'll find something similar that's super cool that maybe you didn't even know existed before. And a lot of the time they are just better quality than some of the stuff that's made today. I think a lot of the pieces in my wardrobe that I've thrifted are the reason why I now have a lot of signature pieces in my wardrobe. My first leather jacket I thrifted is the reason why I think leather jackets are such a staple in my wardrobe and that style of leather jacket specifically. So if you have access to thrift stores you should definitely use them and if you have time to secondhand shop I think it would be so much more beneficial to you. But if you don't have time and you mostly shop fast fashion I think from now on you should do stuff like create wish lists and this will give you the opportunity to identify exactly what you want not just shopping because you're bored or because something's on sale and you think that you want it when you create wish lists it allows you to really take time to think do i want this or do i need it it's okay if you just want it like a lot of the time when i'm buying something do i need another pair of shoes do i need another dress no i want them and that's completely fine but it has to be a want that is going to be beneficial to the other things i'm wearing i like to wait maybe like a few weeks or something depending on the price maybe longer it makes you think of what is already in your closet what you already gravitate towards and how that new piece will add on to what you already have. And the next piece of advice is to outfit repeat and reuse pieces, which seems like a duh moment, which it is, but because of stuff like social media, it's like not outwardly discouraged but it kind of is that like you shouldn't be wearing the same outfit you shouldn't post in like the same pants all the time the same shirt because like you've already posted and like it's just that weird sense of like oh i already wore this i can't wear it again but like no that's what clothes are for like if you have a favorite piece keep wearing it it's your favorite piece for a reason you bought it for a reason it's completely fine to have signature pieces in your wardrobe things that you love to rewear outfits that you love to rewear that's another thing people are now starting to call wearing the same piece of clothing but changing it up outfit repeating that's not outfit repeating outfit repeating is wearing the exact same outfit again and i'm even trying to get better at that why am i gonna make a super cute outfit and wear it one time and be like okay well i wore the top i'll just switch the pants no wear this wear the exact outfit again it was cute the first time it will continue being cute like lizzie mcguire said maybe i'm an outfit repeater but you're an outfit rememberer which is just as pathetic and i personally think an outfit rememberer is more pathetic and an outfit repeater is not pathetic. I feel like this next one is sort of controversial and it shouldn't be but it drives me crazy when people say the opposite of this. It is 100% okay to follow trends, okay? I love a good trend. As long as you're doing it consciously, it's perfectly fine. A lot of pieces in my wardrobe are in my wardrobe because I follow trends. Cowboy boots was a huge trend. Took me a little bit to get into it but I love them now. Do I need any more? No, but the pairs that I have do add to my wardrobe. Faux fur bags. People say it's completely out of style. Okay, fine. I will always have some form of a faux fur bag in my wardrobe. The faux fur bag trend is actually what led me into figuring out that I love a good faux fur hat. Love them. That I just love faux fur in general. Don't let anyone talk you out of them. Also, don't let people talk you into them. It's different if you see it for a while and then you figure out, okay, maybe I could see myself wearing it this way or something like that. But don't just wear it because other people are wearing it and don't just not wear it because other people are wearing it. And another thing, don't stop wearing a trend just because it's not trendy anymore. I beg you. The whole point of personal style is to do something because you want to do it because it looks good on you you like the way it looks that mentality is so dumb and it'll just like make your whole personal style journey even harder if you follow it so please follow trends cautiously and keep them in your wardrobe if you like them doesn't matter what people say this one is a huge 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 thing for me and it goes along with the trends as well be able to differentiate between liking something on someone else versus liking it for you. I feel like that's very simplistic and it's like well duh but this has been a huge problem for me in the past and sometimes still is because I've recently like really started to get into fashion and stuff like that. I can always appreciate something on someone else. I can love something on someone and be like mm, that's not for me but I love it on them but then sometimes I'll be like they look so good in it 
that I think I'll look good in it. Like sometimes I'll see girls wearing color blocked outfit, like a purple top and then mustard green pants and they look incredible. They have the funkiest jewelry, the most colorful accessories. They look amazing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I kind of want that outfit babe you're never gonna wear that like never going to wear not even just wear the whole outfit you're never going to wear any of the pieces either it's okay to admire but be able to know yourself and your own style enough that everything you admire isn't something that you also need in your closet this will come like later on when you find your style because obviously if you don't really know your own personal style it's kind of difficult for you to be like well do i like it on them or will i like it for myself that's why this one is like one of the last ones because it took me a while and it, i'm still kind of in there so don't beat yourself up if you kind of do it like in the beginning of your style journey because that's like normal it's human nature kind of and finally we're on number 10 this is my favorite 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 piece of advice and a piece of advice that i still need to take the main takeaway of this video should be don't be scared of looking the same and finding a specific type of outfit silhouette whatever that works for you because essentially finding your own personal style means having a sense of uniformity once you figure out the type of things you like what jackets you like what shoes you like what jeans you like all that stuff what you gravitate towards you're going to start dressing the same and people are going to be able to identify that oh like that's bethany's outfit that's like a go-to outfit that bethany would wear and there's nothing 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 wrong with that because i have the biggest problem with oh this outfit looks like something i've worn before or like i want to switch it up a little bit and like that's fine sometimes to want to add something extra and cute to your wardrobe but the whole point of finding your style is that you are going to look similar to previous things that you have worn it's your style you've created it for you and that's why it looks the same as other things you've created for you i think it's super cool and like it's super cute when you are just so sure of yourself that you're able to be like this is the thing that i like these are the things that i throw on like when i'm gonna go for errands when i'm gonna go out for dinner like this is my staple outfit and i just think that's something you should really embrace try not to feel bad about being like i always wear the same color i wear the same skirt and the same boots combo all the time because that's how you know like you truly shop for you now you know exactly what you like you know what you gravitate towards and once you get to that point i think personally at least for me that's when i realized okay i've really become comfortable in my style you'll always have like a familiar base like a uniform which super cute so those were my 10 tips for how to find your personal style i really hope that this video could help you guys out and i hope that i made myself clear and concise because i've been talking for a while now hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching if you did don't forget to like subscribe as well as comment down below because that really helps my channel you can also follow me on all my social medias that are linked down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.